I want them to be able to interact with me, me be able to interact with them. I want this to skyrocket soar. You know, it makes you laugh. Some of them makes you cry. Some of them makes you cringe. It's just different topics about everyday things that, that hard conversations that people really don't want to have. I don't know if people are really gonna, you know, like this kind of conversation, but I was like, you know, to hell with it. I'm gonna do it anyway. And so here we are. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you remember already, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be in the know every time I drop my content. If you haven't checked out the website, please go and check out the website, www.flattrucking.com. Everything that you do supports the channel. Today, I wanna to talk about me going and getting a new APU for the truck. AKMJ Wells Productions. out here in Joplin, Missouri today about to get this APU unit put on. For those of y'all who don't know what an APU is, it's an auxiliary power unit. I'll let these guys tell you, you know, more about, you know, what's going on with it and, and the benefits of it and the downsides of it, the pros and the cons, in other words. So I'll be getting back with you guys in a few. I'm sitting here in the parking lot. I'm waiting for them to open up. It's going to be kind of a uh, uh, process um, it's gonna be like a day and a half before they can have it put on oh yeah and it's kind of expensive so if you're looking into getting one they are expensive so I advise you to save up a little money before you know you actually start looking for it we'll be back in a few guys this is the guy these guys will be doing the installation for my new APU unit you know, so how long you been doing this, Shannon? Uh, I've been working on trucks since I was 18. 18? Okay, so cool. I'm 34 now. So, cool. I've uh, been here with Thermal King since 2012. So which brand would you say is better? Thermal Don't King. just say Thermal King before you... You know, I'll, I'll tell you some reasons. Thermal King, uh, I mean Carrier, they're going to give you a four-year, 10,000... hour unit. That's right. What they, that's what they say. We don't give you an hour. Right. We don't give you a year. Okay, cool. So you run it. They've been on. They can go on multiple trucks. I've seen guys put them on three or four trucks. Right. And they'll go over fifty thousand hours. So you take care of it. It's gonna last you a long time. That's right. That's the carrier right. don't give you that. So, so what would you say the least expensive and the most expensive? That's uh, far. A price I mean, range. A price range. I mean, the thermal keeps definitely the most expensive. I mean, we we cost the most. I'm not gonna disagree with that. But right. you know, as far as everything else. We have a better system that's gonna last you longer for your money. You know, right, right. carrier runs all the time. We don't run all the time. Right. But the carrier spending more money in fuel that you aren't gonna spend with us. So they get you on the other end. Right. Um, and so for the so for the ones that don't know what an APU unit is, can you explain to yeah, them? Yeah, APU what? unit. What it does is it'll sit there and it'll monitor the batteries, keep the batteries charged for you. It'll keep the coolant warm. It'll also give you AC. You can integrate a heater in with it, so it gives you heat. And you can run an inverter so you can have short power, so you can run your hotel loads, basically your TV, your microwaves, you know, anything like that will be able to be powered by it. Right, right. How, yeah, you say you've been at this location for two years? No, nope, I've been at this one since 2012. Oh, 2012? Yep. That's a long time. Yep. That's yep. a long time. We started time. it in 2012 out of a service truck. Um, we did that for two years, and then we opened this building in 2014. So give me a good story on, like, the best thing you've seen and the worst thing you've seen. Man, you yeah, we've got some good ones, man. We've seen some good stuff come through here, man. We used to have like a wall of shame of stuff right. we've seen come through here, like wiring that was just horrible, man. I mean, right, it right. should have never been put on a truck or been redone. So, um, man, there's too much stuff that's to out say, there huh? to say <laughs> what the worst is because there's a lot of bad stuff. That's right. And then there's also a lot of good stuff. I mean, I've seen some good installs out there. We've seen some nice stuff done. So, right. So I guess you handle the behind the scenes stuff. I'm just service writer. All right. Just getting guys in the shop, get them taken care of. Okay. On the road again. Right, right. So, as I was asking him, what's some of the good things, some of the bad things? Good things are uh, people coming in that are, aren't doing so well. You know, they're either cold or hot in their trucks, and they come in here, and we get them taken care of, and they're they're happy when they leave. So, right. those are the good things. Get to see people happy when they leave here. Right, um, right. Bad things are when people aren't, aren't very happy. That's right. Um, it's hard to make everybody happy all the time, but sometimes some some people, there's just no making them happy. Right, but, right. Uh, we do the best we can with everybody, and there you are. I mean, it's uh, 
It's a service industry. We're here to take care of people and make sure that they're taken care of right, the right. way that they need to be. Well, I thank you, Bob. Oh, you're very welcome, sir. Hey. Nice meeting you. Same to you, same to you. I'm going to call this number so I can get on right, to the sir. La Quinta end. <laughs> Shadow is here to get us. He is here to get us. Ah, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I kind of figured that. I was taking a little good little while to come out of there. I was trying to grab my bags and stuff. That's fine. Yeah. How's your world today? Everything's going pretty good. I have no complaints. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, that's a good thing. So long as I'm able to wake up and wiggle these feet, these toes, and these fingers, yeah. I'm all right. There you go. Open up yeah, they putting an uh, APU on it for me. How your day going? It's good. It's good. Okay. When you're my age, it's the sunrise. It's good. That's right. That's right. So how long you been doing this? Uh, I do this a little part-time job. Been doing it for about three years. Okay, okay. So you like it pretty good? Yeah, it's fun. Get to meet a lot of new people. That's right. You from out this way? Born and raised over in Kansas, and then moved here in '82. Okay. I know. Uh, I was talking to a young lady over at the gym on uh, Saturday, and she said something about the town kind of went down when uh, COVID hit. I think. She said. Yeah, completely down. Right. Yeah. She was saying that uh, a lot of people lost a lot of money, and a lot of businesses went went under. Cause I was asking her, you know, is this something you know maybe I could do? for entertainment or whatever, and she was like, most of the stuff kind of shut down. Well, she's right. You know, a lot of the small bars and stuff shut down. Right. So what hurt you, sir, more than anything, but casinos, you're, you're, you got like 11 casinos within a 20 mile drive of Calvary. Oh, wow. So what, a, a lot of those shut down? No, they didn't shut down. Well, oh, okay. They didn't shut down during COVID, but right. They okay, gotcha, gotcha. hotel pretty nice hotel got a fireplace and stuff over here let's see hmm. pretty nice so yeah we headed to our room to get all nice and cozy how you doing my man good, good. 